Hello everybody, this is the Planet Earth here, and wanted to show you the uh, download speed is at around 2 megabits per second on a 50 meg home internet connection. Now I'll go do a speed test real quick. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do a speed test of time on a cable. And I'm getting 45 to 46 megs down. I'm on wireless, so it'll go down just a little bit. But still, 46 megs down, which is more than enough. And I am not getting close to it. Okay, and I am on 1080p, and this is a non-compressed video. So it should be downloading at around at least 30 to 40 megs a second. And it's not. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, or just continue to play the video, while I connect to Verizon. Alright, now I am connected to Verizon Wireless, which is 4G LTE. Okay, now I am connected to Verizon Wireless. And uh, waiting for it to load here. And I'm downloading at 5, 6, 7, 5 megabits per second, 18,000, 15,000, but still faster than what um the other one was doing so far at around 18,000 27,000 kilobits per second and it is consistent and there is no dropping of the frames it is going at full max Verizon 4G LTE speeds through wireless so right now we're getting around 10 9 10 8 18,000 uh, it's loading though, as you can tell. So now I'm going to switch back to Roadrunner. I am now connected back to Roadrunner. We're going to go ahead and replay the video 1080p and show video info. And there you go. After looking at my router and Ethernet and wireless. AT&T was going faster on my home router and the modem is throttling us at around 2.5 kilobits per second. As you can see that's video proof right there of time on a cable effing everything up. If I Ethernet it, it'll get the same results. So, I'm going to switch back to uh, Verizon 4G LTE. I'll do a speed test on the Verizon network. Just waiting for it to connect. It's connecting. So right now I'm getting around 10 to 16 megs, but this is inside the house. I get around 30 to 40 megs outside, just outside the house. So right now I'm getting about 13,000 kilobits per second down, which is actually good enough. Okay, 12 megabits, which is about 12,000 kilobits per second down. This is just a bad area to be doing the speed test to. And around 8 megabits up. And it is peak hours. So 12 and 8. So we got 12 megs down and 8 megs up. Now we go back to, let's clear the cache. Alright, and now we're going to open it up again. We're going to go back to my channel. Oops. Okay, we're going to go back to the channel now. We're going to go ahead and play the video. Mute the audio. Play the video. Show video info. And right now I am downloading at 13,000, which was about the speed test. So it's, it's up there. It's still faster than what it was 
with Time Warner Cable. And it's able to stream at 27,000 kilobits per second, which was not happening. 30,000 kilobits per second, which was not happening with Roadrunner. Okay, so I'm going to pause this video. That's obviously a glitch because I'm changing the thing here. And now I'm going to go back to Time Warner Cable. Now I'm switching back to Time Warner Cable. And now we're going to see if that has stopped. Nope, it has not. Only 3 megabits per second down, or 2 megabits per second. Obviously, there's something throttling. Time Warner Cable is throttling the bandwidth, or something in between. There's nothing wrong with my laptop. I did it at the home computer, and it's doing the same thing. So when you do a speakeasy speed test video on Time Warner Cable's internet, you get at least 40 megs or 37 megs or whatever. It doesn't matter. Whatever whatever it is, it's still not going at that speed here. It is wireless. And I'm quite far away from the modem itself. But still, even with that being that far away, it shouldn't do that. Thank you guys for watching. This has been the Planet Earth here.